So, if we look at this um, triangle we've been given, we've got um, an isosceles triangle indicated by the two marks here. So we can put in 8 straight away for the length. Now we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180, and given that it's isosceles, the angle at P and R will be the same. So to make 180, they're both going to need to be 20. Now, we've been asked to find the length PR, PR, so I'll mark that as X. And as you have um, all the sides and angles apart from X, the simplest rule to use here would be the, um, would be the sine rule. So I'm going to write out um, the sine rule, X, over the sine of the angle opposite X, which is 140. So the sine of 140 so rather x over the sine of 140, will equal any other pair that we have. So that will equal 8 over the sine of 20. So we can move our sine 140 across to the other side and then use our calculator to finish. So x will equal 8 lots of sine times 140, all divided by sine of 100, so of sine of 20. So sine 8 times sine 140 times sine 20. So we'll do that on the calculator next, which comes to 15.03. We're asked to correct it to three significant figures, so that comes down to 15.0. It's also possible, if you didn't see the uh, potential to use the sine rule, to have used the cosine rule. In that respect, you would have got x squared equals, and then you would have got... Um, 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 following the cosine rule times the cos of 140 and if you work that all out and took the square root we'll just put square root of that answer you'll get the same answer 15.0 but the smart thing to do is to put in the information you've got because it's isosceles and use the sine rule because it's simpler